Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Loon. I hope you're all doing well. This evening's video is going to be my attempt at the challenge that was put out by Chris from um, Chris's Junkyard Design, CJD. Um, he put out, I think, I think he said this is his first challenge. I can't remember now, but forgive me if it is not his first challenge. But anyway, with that being said, the challenge is show your 50s American cars challenge. So basically, is what it says on the side of the tin, is show your 50s American cars. Um, I'm going to be showing about 10 or 12. Um, I've actually got loads. And again, with these challenges, the hardest part is trying to figure out what you want to show. And as usual, as soon as you finish the challenge, you suddenly think, oh, I should have showed that car and I should have showed that car. But anyway, I think the ones I've picked out will, will do. But uh, with that, we'll get straight into it. And as you can see, there is a 1959 Dodge. Now, you have to forgive me, I've forgotten exactly what it is. I know it's from Matchbox National Parks. So a little look what it is. It is a Dodge Cornet Police. End of the day, so I'm a bit tired. Memories switched off. But anyway, that's a good start. Great looking car from Matchbox. If you hear any noise in the background, it is my kids, because like I said, it is getting towards the end of the day. So they are upstairs near my spare room. But anyway, with that, let's get back. So 59 Dodge Cornet. And then staying with the police theme and the whole of Matchbox, we'll take a look at this. Now, I can't remember which one this is. I know this is the um, Hudson Hornet, but I can't remember if it's a 51. But we'll have a little look in a minute. But anyway, this is from Matchbox again. And this is one that I, I got from, I can't remember if I got this from a five pack or not. I think I did. But I did paint the hubcaps and I did the lights and the siren on top there with the horn and the front details and the lights and the rear. And it's turned out really, really nice this did. Oh, and, and these little front spotlights. But uh, no wheel swap as it didn't need it. But a little look underneath and that is the 51 Hudson Hornet Police. So that is a very cool piece too. So that's piece number two. Piece number three is a 57 Chevy in gold from Hot Wheels. I also have this in red. And I, but I, again, like I said, I just, I didn't want to go rooting around too far. At the moment, I'm going for a bit of a cars, or uh, most of my cars are packed away. So I have to try and get what's at hand. But this is a very cool piece nonetheless. I do like it in the gold. And I'm actually going to leave this car exactly as it is, as I really, really do like it. But I have got the red one somewhere, which I am going to change the colour on the red one and do some work to it at some point in the future. But that is the 57 Chevy from Hot Wheels in gold. And then staying with the 57 Chevy theme, we've got one from Matchbox. Sorry about that, my kid came in. So I quickly paused to see what he wanted. Anyway, back to what I was going on about. This is a Matchbox. Um, 57 Chevy um, this is one I got a few months ago in really well it's basically it's boxed I did an unboxed it um, I think it says Milky Way on the back this is from the it is Matchbox super fast 57 Chevy 79 copyright but I think this is f possibly I'm just trying to look where it's made yeah this is this is from the eight mid 80s so this is when it wasn't Lesney and probably when it was Macau I expect but a very cool piece. I have an original one of these packed away from, from about 79 when it was still actually Matchbox. But again, very, very cool piece in nice condition. And then we'll stay with the 57 the um, theme for the minute. Another one from Hot Wheels. Um, 57 Chevy, obviously, in this awesome, really, really nice purple metallic. You can see all the sparkle in it beautiful casting this is another one that i had um opened about i can't remember i think i opened this about two years ago possibly can't remember now is the editor's choice so it is all lovely nicely painted in and again on the back so editor's choice and it is a metal base with real rider wheels but this like i said when i got it it was 20 years in its blister and i pulled it from its blister and it is like brand new it is in beautiful condition and <coughs> excuse me it's exact same casting as this just obviously this is a 
a newer version. This isn't the original one. The original one came out in, I think the original one came out in 79. But this is older than that one. But anyway, with that, that is the 57 Chevys. So now that is five castings. Um, next one's going to be another one from Hot Wheels, and it is this 59 Chevy Impala Custom. Um, let's have a little look. It just says 59 Chevy Impala, but it is a custom. But, or low rider, should I say, but very cool in this very cool, sparkly, metallic-y pink colour with the dark purple windows. But not usually my colour, but I just like the glariness and the lariness of it, I think. It is a great casting. So, very, very cool. You see some speakers there in the back. So that is piece number six. And then piece number seven is going to be this another Hudson Hornet this is um, done by Johnny Lightning I think it was from the Street Freaks range I believe I can't remember now but um, nonetheless it is very very nicely done got the flames down the side you've got the if I can get my phone to two seconds so it to, there you go you can see they've got the Hornet logo on the side there now the engine is really nicely done on this if I can get the engine to point it open. There you go, you can see the twin H set up carbs on that flathead six. I believe it's a flathead six in this. Got a bit of dust on it. But that is a very, very cool piece from Johnny Lightman. So that is that. And then we're going to go with another one from Matt uh, Hot Wheels. Sorry, this one is, I think this is a 56 Ford. Is it 56 Ford? F100 panel van. Let's have a little look. 56 Ford, but it is a panel van. But very, very cool. And this is another one at some point in the future. I will do a wheel swap and detail on. But it's very, very cool in this sort of almost burnt orange flat reddies. Like a flat burnt orange colour very very cool with the moon eyes livery so that is a cool piece and then we got a 58 Plymouth Fury from Hot Wheels in this blue with all the flames which is quite a nice piece with the yellow windows so yeah very very cool and then the last piece oh no so it's a light I'm lying I've got one more piece after this this is one of my favourite pieces in my Auto World collection. This is, most people know that I've got, I'm have got. i a huge Christine nut from the film Christine. This is the 58 Plymouth Fury from the film Christine. This is the, uh, as I call it, the murder version because it's got the windows are blacked out. Usually when the windows black out, it's when she starts to play the music and goes on a bit of a rampage. I do have all the versions of this Auto World. I do have the burnt version, I have this version, I have the semi-restored version but it is a very, very nicely done piece from Auto World. Let's see, a little look on the plate there. And we'll take a look at the twin quad carb V8. So very, very cool. And this car back in the day, from what I've researched on it many, many moons ago, this was quite a quick car back in the day. This thing, I think this was doing naught to 60 and just over seven seconds, which for a big, big car was quite fast, or very fast indeed, actually. Um, but this was, if I remember rightly, was their biggest engine they did, because this was based, the model that this was actually based on was, was the Sports Fury. So it was the biggest engine they did. I think it was a 350, 350 cubic inch. I think it's put out at 299 horsepower, something like that. But very cool, but anyway, I'll leave up there for two seconds while I just grab the last piece that I'm going to show. Which is to hand, luckily. I'm going to move that out of the way a minute. And it is the 51 Henry J from Mashbox. And this is a really, really cool piece. I really do like this. It's been done so well. So you've got there on the, you've got 321. Matchbox 58 
you've got a crossed out light there and you've got a proper light there sunset rocket henry j gasser and under the bonnet got a nice metal engine that is an actual metal engine uh, no rear details but it doesn't matter because it is a gasser but anyway with that that is going to be it for me <clears throat> um, please check out chris's channel uh, chris's junkyard design the sorry chris's junkyard designs i will leave his name at the bottom here go and check him out great guy always does some cool videos shows some really cool pieces so go and check his videos out give him some support get yourself subbed up and uh have a go at the challenge because these are you know these are these are good fun if you're you know because we, we all have a, like stages where we might not have an idea what to do for a video and if you've got the cars it's a no-brainer it's a free video is the way i look at it it's a free video but uh, with that anyway please like share subscribe stay tuned for more unboxing videos and wheel swaps and challenge videos and all that good stuff and with that i'll see you all very soon thanks for watching